Hi, uh, this is a C sharp tutorial of recursive method of programming. Because the method can call itself, that's why they call it recursive uh, method. So if I click on this button, that is what you see. Okay, and what is recursive method itself? Just all about calling that same method. Now, but this is factorial. In the case of factoria, factoria are used in many areas of mathematics, particularly in a combination and permutation. So what I will do now is take you guys straight into C sharp development environment. Let's put one of these together and you guys see how to create a recursive programming. So exit that and let's start a new project right here. okay let's click on new and we can give that the name i think we should call it recursive okay so let's go for that recursive method call there that is the name of my project click on okay Okay, my form is ready. So what I will do next is let me, let me go straight to project and let's create a class. I just call that the same name I called the previous tutorial. I'm going to call that class number manipulator. That's fine. Yep. So make sure the class is selected. Click on OK. And that is my class right there. Right inside my class, let me declare a public function. Public long integer and the function is going to be called factorial so let's say long number close that right now we enter to our uh, coily braces there so let's say long result And if number equals one, then we want to return one. Okay, else result equals factorial number minus one then multiply that by number itself and that's how you write your code for factorial there so all i just need now is to create what you plan what is known as object on my form so let me copy that so i'll come right in here and let's create as follows. Let me get under a rich text box. There we go. Rich text box and what I need three buttons. Let's come in here and grab me three buttons. One copy that button across to three okay right inside this little button here, i'm going to double click on that and i will enter the following that i copy that is the the class name there number manipulator let me call that n equals name manipulator there so that's my object created so now let's call my rich text box rich rich text box one dot append open a bracket let's say factor of of a number is factor of one is one so the factor of one is always one anyway so we thought that which means one times one is one 
so in here let's say n dot factor dot factorial open a bracket that is one plus I need it to give me new line there so semicolon there so that is for one so if I copy that across I can just make that for two two three four five so I can change all of these to two three four five so if we have five four three two so if I run it okay let's run it and you guys see what's what will happen there and we click on this that is what we get you see that guys okay so what I need to do is let's change the font color as you can see one times one is one one times two is two two times three is six six multiplied by four is 24 multiplied by five is 120 so and so on so the next one next one is going to be 120 multiplied by six and so on so let's do it up to about 20 and right there guys okay and i have the factorial up to 20 so the next thing i like to do is let's let me come in here double click on that and just clear and copy that paste that in here and let's say dot clear enter parenthesis now let's take care of the exit double click on the exit so let's declare dialog for that dialog i exit all right so let's say i exit it was message box dot show and what we want is confirm if you want to exit okay and let's enter this there and just call it maybe we just call it factorial there that is the name of the message box and here let's enter another message let's go for message box button dot yes no comma message box icon dot question there okay right here let's use an if statement to compare if i exit equal dialog do that again equal dialog result dot yes then application dot exit there so dialog result that will be equals equals yeah that's fine now so that's for my exit the exit codes and the clear code now we have the code for the factorial function then in here in the plus those are the lines of code that actually work out the factorial as you can see result equals factorial number minus one multiplied by that number mathematically you can always check that out mathematically you should find the answer so if i run the program now click on that that's what we get but let's increase this font size we can clear we can exit okay exit yeah so let's increase the font size come to the property and just come right up here let's change that maybe to bold maybe 36 or 28 
run it again there we go guys and that's how you create recursive method of programming in C sharp so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this program bye for now